Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be teaching from the book of Revelations chapter 8 and verse 12. I'm by the Holy Spirit. I'm going to be able to show you what John saw. Praise the Lord. John sees the third of the sun, the moon, and the stars darkened. And Revelations 8 and 10, that is where he is seeing the fallen star which is, that came to the earth, which is the false Christ. Uh, he fell from heaven. And he's burning as he were a lamp, which Isaiah 62 and 1 says that is salvation. So he's coming to the world to deceive the world that he is the salvation. Now watch this, church. Now Revelations 8 and 12 said the sun, the moon, and the stars were darkened. Isaiah chapter 13 verses 9 and 10 says this is the wrath of the Lord. The sun, the moon, and the stars will be darkened. Revelations 13 and 11, we see that there is a lamb coming up out of the earth having two horns. Now, Revelations 5 and 6, our lamb has seven horns. Do you see what I'm trying to show you, church? That enemy is lining up with that word of God, trying to deceive the world into thinking that he is the return Christ, uh, that he is God, the embodiment of God, uh, that he is the lamb. And the reason why he's doing this in Revelations 8 and 12, because Isaiah said it is the wrath of the Lord. The tribulation is the wrath of the false Christ. It is his wrath. You know, like Jesus returns to the earth and he pours out the wrath of God and this enemy will pour out the wrath of the devil. Revelation 12 and 12 says, The devil has come down unto you having great wrath. Well, that's what John is seeing in Revelations 8 and 12 with the sun, the moon, and the stars being darkened. He is seeing the wrath of this lamb. Now, Revelations 9 and 1 says a great uh, star uh, fell and opened the bottomless pit. Revelations 9 and 1. He, in Revelations 8 and 10, is that star that fell to this earth. Now, hold on, church, because this is about to get good. He is opening hell. The grave. He is going to open up the grave, and that's going to be one of his signs that he has the power over death, and he is opening up the graves, and those armies that are in the grave will come up out of that grave and be his army in Revelations 9 and 9. Just like when Christ returns to the earth on the white horse in Revelations 19, he returns to this earth. Uh, with his army and that and that's in revelations 19 and 11 i'm sorry i didn't give you the scripture and in revelations 9 and 14 jesus is on a white horse and he is uh, has his army the false christ has his army revelations 9 and 1 uh and he's also on a white horse in revelations 6 and 2 now remember jesus warns us in matthew 24 and 24 if it were possible he'd fool the very elect because he's coming with some signs and wonders Revelation 7 and 1. Now watch this, y'all. I'm not jumping to another teaching. This all it goes together. I have more on this, but I know that if I bring a lot of scriptures, a lot of people get confused, and I don't want you to get confused on what John is seeing. And I'll do another study later on about him. One of his false signs will be he'll be coming down from heaven in the air trying to deceive the world and to think he is the return Christ. Now, when Christ returns, uh, he is the full embodiment of God. He no longer has that flesh and blood body. He now is the body of God. God dwells in him. When you look at him, you see God because God is a spirit. So when you see Jesus, that's going to be the only image of God you're ever going to see because God is a spirit. And he will dwell in our bodies when we are changed. Now, let's go back to the Word because this is so good. John is seeing, Revelations 8 and 12, the wrath of this Lamb. Just like in Revelation 6 and 16, it talks about the wrath of our Lamb, which is Jesus Christ. Revelation 7 and 1 says, There are four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding back the four winds. Revelations 9 and 15 says there are four angels loose from the great river Euphrates and they are preparing for war, killing the third part of men. 
Now watch this word, church, very carefully. Listen to me. This enemy is trying to deceive the people by lining up with the word of God. In Mark 13 and verse 27, Jesus will send his angels to gather his elect from the four winds. Do you see what I just showed you? That's why the angels or four angels are standing on the four corners of the earth holding back the four winds. They are about to gather their elect. But before they do that, uh, we see in Revelation 7 and 2 that they are told to wait until God has sealed the servants of his God in their foreheads. And that seal is in Ephesians 4 and 30. It is the seal until the day of redemption. Now, Revelation 22 and 4 says it is the name of God. Revelations 14 and 1, it is the name of God. Ezekiel 9 and 4, do you see? Here's the similarities, people. The false Christ will be doing the exact same thing in Revelations chapter 13, verses 16 and 17. He will be putting his name in the forehead of his servants. And last night when I was doing this study, I was doing the study on the seven trumpets. And when I was doing the study, the Holy Spirit said, you missed something. And I said, no, my Lord, I've done this study before. The revelation you've given me on the seven trumpets. He said, go back, you missed something. And when I was looking at the word, I saw a flash of light and that word was unfolding before me and everything opened up. Oh, glory. Thank you, Jesus. I was in that room for hours praising God and thanking him for this word. And he told me, look, Donna, look at the word. This is what John is seeing. He's seeing this false Christ, this person who's saying he is God, exalting himself. He's going to come in this time to deceive the whole world that this is his wrath, that he's that lamb in Revelations 13 and 11. And this is the wrath of the lamb. And that he's come to pour out his wrath upon this earth. And the Holy Spirit said, did you notice something, Donna? The first three and a half years is the tribulation. That is his wrath. The last three and a half years is the wrath of God and his lamb. Whew, I don't know about y'all, but that was some good revelation right there. And then the Holy Spirit told me, in Revelation 7 and 1, John is seeing uh, the angels uh, holding back because they're going to gather this false Christ elect, but God's going to put his name on his servants so he'll know his servants from their servants and that false Christ name will be on his servants. And we see that he's going to come in Revelations 9 and 1 and he has that key. Now in Revelations 1 and 18, Jesus has the key to the bottomless pit, hell and death. But this being will be given that key in Revelations 9 and 1 and he's going to deceive the world into believing that he returned like Christ, that he rose the dead, and that he's putting the seal in his name upon his servants. And all those that serve him will have peace and be under his rule and authority. And those that are not willing to serve him will be killed. And that all lines up with the word of God. I'm telling you, he, that's why Jesus said if it were possible, he would fool the very elect. Now, go search out all those scriptures I gave you. I want you to see this. May the Holy Spirit of God go with you and give you understanding and wisdom in this word. And may God bless each and every one of you. In Jesus Christ's most holy name, I'd like to thank all of you for watching my videos. And thank you for standing with me in this amazing gospel because it is amazing. And I hope you're able to receive this revelation. And if you need any more scriptures, I promise you, I got them. Okay? I got the scriptures if you need any more. Because I had to try not to give a lot of scriptures because I know it is confusing to a lot of people. So go, go and get these scriptures and read every one of them. And may God go with you. Thank you all.